Yo, beautiful people, my name is Koi, and welcome to Smartest in Their Space, brought to you by Word on the Curb and the Open University. Round of applause. So let's explain how this all works. We've brought together four teams made up of both content creators and Open University students to battle it out in our brand new game show, Smartest in Their Space. This exciting new show will test intellect, knowledge, and creativity. I have no clue. After a closely fought battle, Zilla's Angels and the Divas just fell short of victory. So now must face off against each other for honor and third place. <laughs> so let's find out we'll who's talking, the smartest we'll in their space. Yay. I am so, so excited because this is the third place playoffs. <laughs> These amazing teams performed really well during their episodes, but they just didn't win. And they are playing for the title of third place. Woo! And guess what? You get to battle it out for third place. What with the other losers? <laughs> no, which is really good. All right, so I'm super excited to introduce the teams again. So where do we start? Us. Us. Competition, Divas. I like it. We're going to start with Scylla's Angels. Oh. Yes. Yay. How are you guys doing? Amazing. Great. First of all, let's introduce you again. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Lara and I study an open degree with the Open University. Oh, I love that. Hey. Studying, making herself great. We love it. What about you, Claudia? First of all, I want to say, Lara, we need to put emphasis on her name because she's our secret weapon in this oh, whole yes. game right now. So, yeah. I but sense I'm, it. I'm Claudia, uh, AK Wavy U. I am also the team captain and uh, I am a freelance content creator presenter, all of that stuff. Hey. Woo. Come on. My name's Aisha and I studied managing money at the OU. Hey. Come on. Big up the OU. I'm Flashy Silla, the block reporter. Rap, music, aficionado. Come on. And I'm that guy, man. That's what you gotta know. I love that. All right. So, uh, still as angels, yes. what are you guys gonna do differently? Are you still keeping the same captain? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah no, oh, that's what? Cool. You're no, trying to good. question my no, position no, no, here. Is yeah. not gonna change anything up? Listen, what's gonna be different about this time? Oh, I just what? think we said it in the first episode. We were like, oh, we need to improve our communication, but I don't think we actually stuck to it. So I think <laughs> communication is what we need to improve. Me and Sully need to stop shouting over everyone. Okay. And Lara needs to talk over us. Okay. So. <laughs> Perfect. I, I trust her. I, I see she's ready today. I see she's ready. What about you, Aisha? Trying. You can't do your thing, innit? But okay. you're trying. Which, 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 what counts? which is what counts. Yeah. Perfect. All right then, let's find out what the divas are going to be doing slightly different this episode. How you guys? <laughs> Well, We're definitely all, winning them. Oh, you're definitely beating them. Jeez. Whoa, yeah. I don't think they heard that. Can you say that again? I mean, you lost, lost by like a 10 point gap to your last no, team. No, no, Ours no, was only like one. Five. You know, just saying. It's a lot of gold. Well, can we at least let them introduce themselves? No, they don't look no. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourselves? My name is Pat's Timbo, and I'm a comedy content creator. Yes, girl. I'm Sade, and I'm studying law at the Open University. Okay. I'm Spaz, I make content on social media and I'm a teacher as well at the same time. Love that, two jobs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Latoya and I'm hoping to go into nursing with the Open University. Oh, I love that, yes. Okay, and obviously you guys are the divas. Yes. Of course. Now you guys weren't too close off the lead last time, right? You started really strong yeah. the first round. What's going to be different about this game? I think we're going to strategize a bit okay. more. Don't press the buzzer no. unless you've heard the full <laughs> Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Like that. that's, you know? that's strong, strong improvement. I love that. Well, I'm really, really excited to see how you guys both do. I think you guys are going to kill it. I think it's going to be a very close one. Are you guys ready to jump into the first game? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Energy, let's go! Hey people, thanks for watching. If you want to get involved with Word on the Curve, make sure to hit the link in the description to join the Curve community for all casting, paid surveys and event opportunities. Welcome to round one called True or False. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oof, I'm, I'm excited. Let me give you the rules. One person from each team will go head to head to face a true or false statement. The first person to hold up the true or false paddle and answer correctly wins the point. Each correct answer is worth five points. Tasty! Oh. <laughs> I love it. Go home. I'm so excited. Can we get the first place up? So that is Fats from your team. And can we also get Lava from your team? Yay! Yay! We are about to get into the game. But remember to both teams, absolute silence. No help and no support. Feel free to hold both paddles in your hands. Okay. And the first one up, so they must be down. The first one up with the correct answer 
gets the points. You guys ready? Yeah. Lara, you ready? Yeah. Fats, you ready? Question one. Kenya still uses shillings as a form of currency. True or false? Okay, well, you were first. <laughs> and you're both incorrect. Oh, the answer is true. Yes! <laughs> Wait, why? No, it's true. 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 Oh, <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Very positive okay. attitude. Second question. Meghan Markle's first name is Rachel. True or false? You're both incorrect. It's true. <laughs> Rachel? All right, guys. Um, how are you both feeling about that? We were equally Terrible. as bad. So I don't feel that <laughs> yeah. bad. Yeah. Nothing bad has been done. Nothing yeah. good no either. Yeah. But yeah, let's see if the other members of your team can do even better. So can I call up Sade and Claudia? <laughs> Come on, Claudio! How are you guys feeling? <laughs> okay, that's the sound. Um, <laughs> I need to nervous beat. Okay, you need to nervous beat. Okay, no. Do you think you can do something different for your team? At least I one point. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the goal is one point. Yeah. You lot have been seriously humbled. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you've got two questions coming up. Let's go. Question three. 32% of the 2021 OU undergraduates are under 25 years of age. True or false? Oh, that is incorrect. The answer is true. Really? The answer is true. From someone that's not an open uh, university student, yeah. I would I would think that's a surprise to be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. What, what did you assume? I would think it's a lot more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Question four. In the city of Gainesville, Georgia, it's illegal to eat chicken with a fork. True or false? Correct. Hey. So you were both correct, but Claudia got in there first, hey! so she gets the point. Thank you guys so thank much. You. Well done, Claudia. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. And can I get the next two players up? That would be Shabazz and Aisha. Look at Asian Invasion. <laughs> what did you, what did you say? Wait, what? Asian Invasion, the only two brown people that like, listen, put the two Asians together. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Are you guys ready? The most popular yeah. in the UK. <laughs> Panda, Panda. Oh, yeah. Guys, the pair before you both got, oh, actually only one person got one. What is your goal? Are you planning to get both questions correct? Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds. How are you going to yeah. do that? Speed? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what we didn't do the last time, yeah. <laughs> She's got the right answer, just not fast enough. All right then, don't worry, we've got this. Question five. The Hollywood film industry produces the most films per year. True or false? The correct answer is false. It's Bollywood. No, it's Bollywood. It's Bollywood. It's not. It's Bollywood. No, it's Bollywood. It's not Hollywood. Hollywood. Two hundred and sixty-five movies a year. See, you don't ask an Asian question as well. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I've got a fact. Do you have a fact about bro? So, question six. Famous footballer and OU alumni for Kyle Tomori currently plays for Everton. True or false? Oh, I False is the correct yes! answer. Yes! 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 He plays for AC Milan, so shout out to you. I don't know what that means. Thank you. I don't know what it means. You've got one each. All right, can we get Silla and can we get the Tom Toya Silla. Vibes to play the game? Come on, Silla. Okay. You guys, paddles by your side. By your side. <laughs> All right, question seven. Marrakesh is the capital of Morocco. True or false? <laughs> Oh, no. That is false, <laughs> but I believe, Silla, you are first, so you get the point. Yay! It's alright, Latoya. Okay, question eight. Round. Last question. The scientific name for the common domestic cat is Felis cactus. True or false? Yes. The answer is true. You get the point. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, Latoya. <laughs> Did you even point anything up? I did. Oh, okay, it was wrong there. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you can take your seats and let's find out who won. Okay. Yes, my people, it is Nahail here. See, as a creator, I wish I considered taking the open university as an option. But if you're looking to attend uni, but still take full control of your educational journey, then maybe the open university is something you need to consider. So hit the link to find out more. In. The Divas bagged a whopping 10 points that round. Big. But Silla's Angels bagged a fantastic 50 oh, points, oh, which oh, puts oh, them oh, in the oh, lead. Oh, 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 it's not necessary. Oh, <laughs> 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 remember, we still have two rounds to go. Well, let's keep going. Let's jump into the next round. Oh, hey! <laughs> 
Welcome to round two. What's that sound? Does that sound good? I like y'all. I like y'all. Now, let me give you the rules. This is one of my favorite games. A musician will play a song on the flute, and both teams must press their buzzer to guess the song. The fastest buzzer wins, but if the answer is incorrect, the other team will have a chance to steal their points by giving the correct answer. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Woo! I am so excited because we have a special guest joining us. Kind of mentioned it, but we have an amazing musician called Daron. He's a professional flautist from London and he freelances for several orchestras and has performed at major events, including the BBC Proms and the Brits. Can we get a round of applause for Daron? We are so excited to have you on. Thank you. And tell them about how I taught you everything you know. Who do you think is going to win? Oh. Oof. Well, it's tricky, it's tricky, but I think I'm a few more angels. Come on! Oh! 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 It's getting spicy. <laughs> that is <Wow>. not on. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry everyone, you get your chance to prove him wrong. All right, do you want to jump into the game? All right, then, can you play the first song? <laughs> yes? Fly a cardboard box. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to enjoy the music too much. I didn't want to yeah, yeah. with like, the buzzer and ruin his vibe. Like, that's that disrespectful. <laughs> All right, well, let's jump into the second song. Yes? Dancing Queen! Abba! Yes! Abba! Abba! Abba, I just want to remind silly, silly, it's not silly, 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 angels that you have to answer the question. Yeah, but the, I don't not want to ruin his along. vibe. Okay. <laughs> well, ruin his vibe, because that's how you get your points. Flashy Silla. Rap this music should be <laughs> Do you know what's mad? I think me and Scylla have both interviewed Flo. You might get a DM or a tweet about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so everyone turn your music mind on, all right? We don't need to, we've got it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You <laughs> Direct that do, you, do you regret you who you were backing at the beginning? Uh, yeah, I've improved a lot. Okay. Are you switching sides? <laughs> you can't switch sides now. There are, still late. <laughs> there are still four more songs, so there's still a chance for you guys to redeem yourself and for you to get your career back, okay? Yes. All right. <laughs> Song three, can you please play it? Oh. Sing okay. it, just I'm say it. Okay. I trust you, just say it. Okay. <laughs> Do you trust yourself? It's Craig, it's, Dave, it's Craig. I'm so sorry, it's over to you, Divas. I don't know the song name. I need to hear it more. Craig David, but it's okay. the song name okay. is um, Friday, Saturday. Do we play? Do we play? We play. Five. What's it called? Yeah. 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 David. We we can. No. I'm so sorry. Because you're going to kick yourself. Not weekend, but seven days. Oh. <laughs> you missed five days out. I'm so God. sorry. But yeah, so seven close. days by Craig seven David. Days. I got the yeah. Craig David part. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, so is everyone ready for song number four? Do we no. get half a point for the artist? No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> half a point. <laughs> Don't try it. We are ready for song number four. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm Dizzy Rascal. Dizzy Rascal. Yes. And, Five. and, 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 um, four. um, I love it. It's what song? Silla, what's the song? Stop bugging me up! Okay. I'm so sorry, Silla. You can become a beauty influencer. All right, over here. <laughs> <laughs> you are stunning. You are stunning. Okay, over to the divas. It's Dizzy Rascal. Mm -hmm. Dance with me. Yes, it is! Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Featuring? Yes. No, no. no. I told you to drop sorry. the feature, just say the name of the song. Calvin it's okay, Harris. it's okay, it's okay. Well, there you go, you got it back. You got it back. Calvin Harris. <laughs> Calvin Harris, you got it back. We're not beating about this one now. <laughs> All right, time for song number five. <laughs> We've got two music. Okay. Yeah, but what is it? Uh, 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 um, coffee. 
Toast. Yes. Toast. Yes. 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 I wanna see. Is that not it? Five. I don't know what. Four. Emily Sunday. Uh, we know. Nah. So, so. Oh. Over to you guys. It sounds like that. Hmm. What's it? I know what it is. Artist, help us. What? Okay. I'm gonna need an answer. Walker, stop playing, and we'll give you one. I think. Oh, we're not gonna get it now. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna need, I'm going to need an answer. Oh, I'm so wait, wait, wait. Five. <laughs> oh, something oh. dancing. Three, two, two so upset. Nine. one. Uh, what is it? The correct answer is Jay Sean down. Down. Down, down, oh. down, down, down. Can can you please please have a round of applause for the one. Understand why this is one of my favorite rounds ever, all right? But before we get the results, I just want to stop and say the Open University offer a range of music courses that are even more exciting than this segment of the show. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, do you want to get the results? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah. No, there's not enough excitement. Do you want to get the results? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching yet another episode by Word on the Curb. The channel is getting closer and closer to 200k, so we need to pay your part in making it happen. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well. Hit that notification bell. The results are in, and I'm super excited to say that the Divas won this round, Ooh. which puts them firmly in the lead with 40 points, and you guys are close up with 25. There's hope. 25, I think. 25 wow. points. 25. 25 points. That's it, that ain't close. <laughs> <laughs> Things can change. Things can happen. Things can happen. But guys, are you ready to jump into the third and final round? Yes. 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 No. Biggest loser, biggest it's loser. It's too chill, it's too chill. This is for third place. Are you ready to go into the final round? Yes. Yeah. Right, let's do that. Let's go. Yo, beautiful people, welcome to the final round of Smartest in Their Space. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. This round is called Distance Detectives. Okay. So let me give you the rules, okay? The Open University is a leader in distance learning. So in this round, we will be testing how well you know the distances between popular countries, landmarks, and places. You will be presented with two distances and must pick the furthest one. Each correct answer is worth five points. All right? Yes. Okay. Mm, ready. You ready? Yeah. You're currently on 25 points. You're currently on 40 points. And as you guys won the last round, you guys can start first. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. What is further? The distance between the Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA and the Niagara Falls in Ontario, Canada or the distance between the Great Wall of China and the Taj Mahal in India. We have some images for you guys. Up in Spire. The Taj Mahal in India, clo uh, China, closer. It's got to be cool. Where's Canada? Is it above uh, Grand yeah. Canyon? Where's Arizona, though? Is it at the bottom of the top? Or India and China are close to each other? So They'll be closer to each I'm other. I'm going to need an answer. It's going to be the um, Arizona and Canada. The Close. Are oh, you saying closest or furthest? Furthest. Which is furthest. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. That is the correct answer. <laughs> Close call. <laughs> now over to you guys, Silla's Angels. <laughs> what is further, the distance between the Statue of Liberty in New York and the White House in Washington, D.C., or the distance between the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada and the Empire State Building in New York? I know Silla loves New York, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Like Gonna need an answer, guys. Three, two, one. Run all DM Tower to Empire State Building. That is the correct answer. Yes! <laughs> you guys are switched on. All right. I'm all back to uni, man. Back to the Divas. <laughs> what is further, the distance between London, UK, and Reykjavik, Iceland, or the distance between Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and Buenos Aires, Argentina? 
Right, listen. London, Iceland. Really? Am I doing <laughs> <any sense? laughs> yeah. oh, But the UK is really small. But then there's also the water. Yeah. <laughs> How much water is there? I like the thinking. Is that a lot of water? No, 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 do you know what it is? Yeah, it's like when they ask you to explain your answer you know, in the exam. Dad, I'm going to need to give you the whole cool explanation. Three. Oh, no, you tell me. You've got to tell me. Um, two. One. Um, okay. We've got an answer. Okay, and it we're, is? We are definitely going to go with yes. the answer, which is going to come next. I will move on. <laughs> no, no, and the answer is that, the, what, is it the furthest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's just um, I need to answer in three seconds. Okay, right, no, uh, uh, three, uh, Rio two. and uh, uh, Argentina. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah, I was getting there, I was getting there. Was getting there. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> what, man? what is further? The distance between the Eiffel Tower in Paris and Loch Ness in Scotland, or the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Pisa and the Colosseum in Rome. Where's Pisa? Where's the James? Italy. Laura, Italy. do you know where Pisa is? Hmm? 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 We're going to go with oh, Eiffel Tower, Paris, and Loch Ness, Scotland. That is correct. Oh! Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, do you know what? Earlier, I did Google the distance between Eiffel Tower, Paris, and London, so I actually know how much it is in kilometers. So I love that, that for you. Love that. And that was Distance Detective, guys. The Open University is a leading provider of distance learning. So you could be in any of these countries, and as long as you take your study seriously, still be getting an incredible education. So I think that's amazing. Can we give a round of applause to Open University? <laughs> but I do have the results, okay? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. You seem a bit nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. Nothing left. <laughs> With a total score of 90 points, we have Silla's Angels. Yay! So that means coming in third place with a winning score of 110 points is the Divas. Yay! Where's the prize? Well done, the prize is happiness. <laughs> the prize is happiness and joy. I want the little crown. The, I, I can give you happiness. The brain. <laughs> I can give you joy. <laughs> but you guys should be so, so proud of yourself, especially the Open University students. Can we give a round of applause for the Open University students? Come on, come on. We can't wait for you to go ahead and change the world. And we'll be watching you influencers while you do it. So <laughs> and thank you, guys. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. But we are not done yet. We still have the bougie brains and the mystery minds who are going to battle it out to see who is the smartest in their space and who's going to win the trophy. Yay! And of course, you guys are going to sit with us and watch, obviously, behind the cameras. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah. All right, then. Let's do it. Make sure you lot tune in for the next episode. Yay! After all the blood, sweat, and tears, the winners of Smartest in Their Space are...